was a theater major at Syracuse in the 70s. And my mother is actually, and still is, a costume designer. So I was born into the theater world from day one. I remember growing up backstage at uh, Union University where my mom was the resident costume designer. And, you know, I remember going to Aunt, actually I don't remember going to Aunt Frank, but I heard that I went. And um, I remember my first sort of memory of theater was my mom had to make a burning bush because theater was in Tennessee, so of course they're like all Ten Commandments and stuff. So they're doing the Ten Commandments and it was the burning bush and my mom had to like make the fire with all the kids. And I just, I love it. There's something so fun about it. And I guess learning about other people and all their issues and their complications and everything they go through on a daily basis, it really forces you to reflect on who you are as a person. And I like that. It, I think it more than other careers where you might sit at a desk or something, it, it really forces you to look in on yourself and see what your own conflicts are. And by working them out for your other characters, sometimes you work them out for yourself. Brenda is hiding. She's, as you'll see in the little monologue, it, she's pushing herself. When you first see her in this mini thing, she's talking as if she's preparing for her college interview. It's, it's how great am I at this? I do this, I'm, this is all my extracurriculars, look at how impressive I am. And then in the last moments, you finally realize it's because she's hiding this deep, tormented, really frustrated side of her that she can't let out. You know, every moment that she's working and pushing and striving towards something is helping take her mind from something really awful that she can't face yet. And we're all hiding these days. Everybody's hiding behind something. And you have to, it's a really hard thing to decide when to break out of that shell and to really come forward with your feelings. So it'll be interesting to see when Brenda does that. Pretty Little Liars meets Fight Club. And I gotta say, Chuck Polniak, Polniak, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he is one of my favorite writers. Fight Club is so fantastic and dirty and wonderful, like all of his books, really. And I really would love to kind of be on a CW show. They're so campy. Gossip Girl is one of my favorites. And you're trying to be serious about this. Like, there's serious things going on, but it's also kind of nice because it's like high school again in many ways, having gone to a private school myself. And again, it's reflective on your past and it's interesting to come back and look at it in a new light and see these characters' problems and how are you going to face them? How are you going to deal with your best friends being in some sort of fight club where you can't even help them? It's, it's a cool topic, so I'm excited. No. <laughs>